Coach Josh Coffey, congratulations on a 4-2 win tonight for the Gamecocks over Vanderbilt. South Carolina improving to 4-2 and two in the Southeastern Conference now. Five three-set matches in singles. Coach, take me through this match tonight. Uh, I thought we did a good job in dubs on two of the courts. A little shaky uh, from Gabrielle and uh, Schaefer out there on three to start, which is a little bit of concern, and that bled into their singles a little bit, as you can see. Um, you know, we let Vanderbilt into the match tonight, unfortunately. You know, when you when you have a dominant doubles point like that from your one and two spots, you typically want to get a good start and run with it. And the opportunity is there, and we definitely did not take that opportunity. And, and granted, you know, credit to Vanderbilt. They absolutely fought tooth and nail and to get back in the match. And uh, we're leading most of the way. You know, as, as once they turned it, it looked like we were down and out. But credit to Yancey Dennis for turning a three-setter. He's kind of been on the bottom side of those all year. And uh, that's a big one for him to turn and get that third point for us. Uh, Alex Fennell, same thing. He showed a lot, a lot of resiliency down there, which is something we've been wanting to see from him. So huge for us to see that. Um, and, uh, you know, it was great for to see our freshman Paul Jubb to get in. He's 3-0, and I think, now moving in in, in, uh, in SEC play. And uh, to close out and to come back after being down a break in the third also showed a lot of heart. But, you know, our tennis, we're, we're uh, really just going to start focusing on the guys right now and try to get the tennis better. You know, we're competing as a team probably as best as anybody in the country right now. But, you know, the quality of tennis has to go up. And so that's been our focus in practice and we'll continue to improve and we'll see what goes from there. How much did it help last weekend with those uh, getting a couple 4-3 road wins? I got to imagine that gives your team a lot of confidence when you're coming into a match like this. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, 4-3 road wins, that's, those are tough to come by, or road wins are tough to come by in the conference. And, you know, <laughs> those are the ones that it doesn't matter how you get them, you get them, and, uh, and you run away with them. So um, I think the team believes, you know, they're not willing, you know, they are willing to go to a very uh, deep place, you know, dig a lot when it, when it matters. And it showed tonight, obviously. that Those are the... This win came from those road wins, um, but we are still recovering. That was a rough road stretch that we were on, uh, but it's nice to be home. We'll get some rest tomorrow and look forward to taking on Kentucky on Sunday. You mentioned Kentucky coming up. Kentucky uh, getting a little bit of the benefit, not having to play uh, tonight. They only got the, the one match against you guys on Sunday. Um, UK always a top 25 team year in and year out. What do you know about the Wildcats? And I would expect it's going to be another big battle here on Sunday. They're good. They lost to Virginia, which is currently number one in the country, 4-3. They lost to Georgia, 4-3. They lost to A&M, 4-3. Um, you know, they're right there with everybody, but, you know, so are we. So uh, it, we're looking forward to it. Every time they come in here, it's a rough match. Every time we go up there, it's a rough match. That match will be decided by a few points, you know, from what I can tell right now. So I think our guys are looking forward to it. They need something to get up to. Um, I think Kentucky's a little underranked right now. They're 22. They're, I think they're a top 15 team, top 10 team for sure with that lineup. So I think our guys are going to come in hungry for that one. So it'll be, uh, it'll be a fun match. Coach, again, congrats on the win tonight, and good luck on Sunday. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.